Here's a look at the next few hours for us under mostly clear skies, although we'll see a few more clouds starting to roll in. Temperatures are going to fade back into the mid 40s by the midnight hour. Friends, we're sitting in the 50s downstream of the lake. Elsewhere, we are in the 60s. It has been absolutely perfect today uh, in terms of not only our temperatures because we reached our average high temperature today, but we finally get to see some sunshine. That is going to start to wane on us a little bit, not just because the sun is going down. Ha ha, I got you on that one, but uh, also because we have a lot of cloud cover that is coming in. Not from this storm system of impacting the south with some very beneficial rain. It's this little line of rain to the west of us that is connected to a much stronger and developing storm system in the Plain States that will be sweeping through our area as we head not only through tomorrow, but then also into Friday and Saturday. And ultimately, by the time we get to Sunday, that that thing is going to be sitting off the East Coast. Watch how this all goes down as we're leading up to the weekend here. The storm system we have been dealing with is going to slowly but surely move out. That's what brought us the cooler air over the last couple of days. As that moves out, the new one moves in just one right after the other. First, the warm front arrives into the state of Ohio, and that warm front will kick up a few scattered showers. It'll start in the morning tomorrow, and we may see a few showers that linger as we get into the afternoon. But I think for the most part, we'll have a lot of dry time tomorrow. Then as this storm begins to really intensify in the central plains, you can kind of see how this rain shield develops on the northern side of things and a pretty potent cold front that will drag through portions of the Midwest. Watch, though, as we go Friday through the day, this thing starts to come at us. It's slowing down just a little bit as it does so, as it's starting to move just a little bit south of due east, and that's because this big area of high pressure is going to start to push on it. The bad news is that is going to drag that developing rain shield on the north side of the storm system right over us. So now it looks like we've got quite a soaking coming our way on Saturday. And as that storm system continues to move off the East Coast, big old area of high pressure begins to move in from the north and it's cool. That will introduce a brisk northerly breeze to northern Ohio as we head through our Sunday. What does that mean? lake effect. All kinds of scattered showers for the day on Sunday. So this weekend is looking a little soggy at this point. There's been a few little uh, adjustments and updates, but here's your National Design Mar hour by hour forecast. The clouds increase tonight. There's your scattered rain showers for the morning, so probably a day that you're going to need the umbrellas just step out the door with temperatures right around 50. By the time we hit 8 30, 9 o'clock, those scattered showers become fewer and fewer by noon. That's good news. We will get some peaks of sunshine, I think murky peaks of sunshine, but by afternoon we'll probably top out in the low 60s in northern Ohio. Then Thursday night into Friday. This is when the meat of the storm system starts to really ramp up to our west, but it's not here yet. So our Friday actually looks pretty nice for us. As a matter of fact, we're going to see increase in clouds by the time we hit the evening and the real appreciable rain doesn't arrive until Friday night into Saturday morning. So that's great for Friday night football games. Union home mortgage forecast with that good news. We make it into the mid 60s on Friday, but then that colder air begins to pull in here and we have rain likely Saturday. It's going to be cold and breezy and raw on Sunday and we'll hold on to the 50s with widespread lake showers Monday and Tuesday, even possibly into Wednesday.